Hello, my name is Sarah Alamani, and I will be reading my personal essay titled, How Traditions Are Created. How Traditions Are Created. My mother wakes up at 3.30 every morning to pray. She stays up until the sun rises, praying for her six children and her family back home. Then she sleeps and dreams of places she wants to travel to, her soul wandering the ends of the earth in search for meaning. Finally, she wakes up for the day. Our house exudes a sense of tranquility. I remember telling her one evening that she was my first muse. She holds stories I couldn't have imagined in a lifetime. Happiness and sadness live in her eyes. Her voice is as soft as my childhood blanket. When the world is heavy on her shoulders, she wakes up at three in the morning, prays a little harder, and then dreams a little longer. On Tuesday, March 16, 2021, she wakes up a little early and prays. She holds the words of God between her hands and recites her father's favorite verses. When she finishes, she closes her eyes and sends him a prayer. Later, at 6.06 .06 a.m., her phone lights up. It is her brother. He tells her that their father has passed. My mother's cries hit the walls of our house. And I hear her repeat to my father, I told you I wanted to go see him. I do not dare walk out of my room to console her. I do not dare move. I let her mourn loudly. My mother's soul cries out to my grandfather, and though his body is thousands of miles away, I can tell his soul would roam this earth to say goodbye to her. The reality of his death conflicts her. I can see the five stages of grief alternate quickly through her eyes. At first, she feels at peace that he is now with my grandmother. Then she feels a stinging sensation in her heart because the last time she saw him, she promised him so many things. She tells us stories about him with a sad smile on her face, and it makes me realize that parents are memories for their children. My mother wakes up every day at 3 a.m. and prays. She reads her father's favorite verses and sends him a prayer. These mornings, I pray with her. We read her favorite verses, and she tells me stories my brain can barely fathom. She is my muse today, tomorrow, and every day. Thank you.